Hey guys, James Beckett. Um, just watched Colonel Brian Cantil's video. Um, very informative, uh, very thorough. Uh, learned a lot about the National Guard and how they're broken up into different sectors um, or missions. Um, uh, the first one that he mentioned is a CST. It's a civil support team. Uh, consists of 22 members. Um, there's 27 of them throughout the uh, nation. There is one here in Ohio, um, not very far from me actually, at uh, Rickenbacker Air Base. Um, says that they can be deployed in around four hours um, with uh, advanced specialists deploying in uh, less than two. <clears throat> uh, I thought that was a phenomenal time. Um, it's quicker than I would have anticipated. Uh, pen, he said pending notification and authorization. Um, so I'm sure that they get a heads up that they might be going so they can start planning a little bit. But even still, that's a significant uh, time just to pack up and go like that. <clears throat> um, and the next one he mentioned was the Surf P uh, can handle... 180 to 200 personnel, he says. Um, they're medical and decon. Um, the next one was uh, the HERF. Uh, it's 900 to 1,000 personnel, he says. Um, they do like command and control. Um, all these are pending approval of uh, the governor of the state of Ohio. So without his approval, they're not allowed to deploy. But as soon as they get his approval, uh, they're gone. They're going to the incident location. Um, the other one is the Desert F, uh, the active and reserves. Um, this can do three to 5,000 people, he said. Um, it's through uh, Title 10 as well. Um, has an aid aid compact uh, where depending upon the incident it can be uh, deployed nationally um, the president can get involved as well uh, these are all things that I did not know coming into this video um, I thought he did a great job explaining everything um, breaking down the units uh, what they were for um, how many personnel they can hold um, I thought this was a fantastic video and very informative. Thank you.